This is the most forward government line today in the battle along Highway 1, now in its eighth day. Historians may not call this the most decisive battle of the 30 years of war in South Vietnam, but if the Viet Cong could win it, there is very little between here and the Bien Hoa Air Force Base and Saigon itself. So far, it is a stalemate. Mommy, 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 what's a grave digger? 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 Mommy, what is a grave Yo, I had a nightmare that I slept for a light year and a thousand locusts that crawled inside my right ear. Then I found myself trapped inside of a circle, surrounded by 40 wicked women who was all dressed in purple. They promised they would harm the nation with the abominations, the fortifications, doctrinations of intoxications. At that moment, I realized with my opponent, it was God from Magar. He said he wanted to slay God. He brought his rapture from Ezekiel 39 chapter. He wanted to fracture my skull, so they go capture my soul. My body got drawn to a life of reform as my essence tried to squeeze through the crack of dawn. But I got trapped in a void while I saw down to the paranoid humanoids who were floating in space like asteroids. The pain in my head was excruciating. It must have been that dust that had me hallucinating that I was facing Satan. And he was debating with Reagan over who killed Kennedy and the true identity of the Holy Ghost Trinity and lack of masculinity. About to lose it, flashback of blood dipped in honey. And the first truth that I mastered when I learned what 20 about who's the original universal father, the king of civilization, the biochemical author. It was me, it struck me, it caused me to figure it relies to myself that I'm a grave digger. Mommy, what's a grave digger? 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 What? 
cái 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 Historians may not call this the most decisive battle of the 30 years of war in Vietnam, but if the North Vietnamese can break through, there is very little between here and the air base at Bien Hoa and Saigon itself. And today, they push the North... I keep wanting... What?
Hồi đó đâu biết đau không? Hồi đó trông cho ai đè nhiều còn nhiều còn tốt chứ <cười> Thôi, không hẹp nữa Mr. Lam, you were a journalist in... Yeah, and... How about you, Miss Brown? Uh, today, Batman coming... The future, really immediately now, I hope to get out of this camp. And I hope to have the chance to get anywhere, particularly in the States, and to accept any job I may be given and start to be in a new life again. Oh, anything about uh, system or custom also. How to get a job or how to get in the union, you know, I'm still worried. Uh, how uh, in the future, I don't, I don't think I have, you know, about high salary, but enough, you know, salary for my family, Just about food and clothes and living. I'm really happy, really happy here with my parents, my families in here. And uh, also we are short uh, something in here, but we feel good because uh, uh, we are escaped from Saigon. What was arranged? How was it arranged that you should... I do not... <laughs>
Mr. Lamb, uh, as you say, you, you have fled before to Saigon and now from Saigon. At this point in time, what are now your hopes for the future? The future? You know, um, it's very hard to answer. Uh, Every one of us hopes for the best. And Mr. Lam, now that you have come here this far from Saigon, what are now your hopes for the future? What can I expect more? Thank you very much. Uh, let me turn to Mr. Min. Just a little bit. All right. Mr. Min, you have at least been able to resume a little bit of work. Uh, as you walk about this camp um, and look through the, uh, the finder on your lens, what, what do you think about, about the people here? Uh, the people here, you mean uh, Vietnamese uh, refugee, is, I uh, understand they very happy to uh, looking freedom land, you know, and uh, we understand we have be new life, um, but uh, we don't know about features. That's people, you know, and myself too. So I hope I can continue to working with ABC and uh, and uh, very good to us get our country. The United States is uh, my father get killed by Viet Minh. So anyway, I have to leave Saigon. I cannot stay in Saigon. Uh, and then uh, I enjoy with ABC about 10 years already. So I have to live anyway. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> well, I think your, your pictures will look very good on Eyewitness News. Mr. Din, I ask. All right, Mr. Din, you have been up and down every roadway in Vietnam with your camera. Uh, do you think now that you're prepared to cover fires and accidents and politicians in another country? How do you feel? Because of the uh, first time I've been in, uh, you know, Europe, in the United you know, like, States, I'm, and I cannot say, you know, I don't know how about uh, ABC uh, help us in the future. I don't know because nobody tell uh, you know. Yeah. Well, this all happened so very suddenly that I think it will take. Like, how did you find out about the plan to move you and your family out of Saigon? And how did you feel when you heard about it? You know, because I am a secretary, so I think. I was the first people know about the plan, and I heard about the plan. I was very happy that ABC has something to do for us. And I don't know how to say more. Well, how did you feel? Uh to sit in an airplane and leave Saigon behind you? The first, because I left my mother behind, so I was very, I was afraid that she could not to go with me. But when you told me that my mother already came here, it's my big happy in my life. Do you have any feeling about the future and what you would like to do? In the future, I hope I will have a good job to work with ABC. That's all I am. Well, a good office help is very hard to find. Ms. Tuan, how do you feel when you left Saigon and came to this place? Really, I'm very sad. And uh, until now, I still have heard about my sister. Do you have any feeling about where you would like to live and what you would like to do after this? Yes, uh, you know, we are already here. And uh, I'm very worried about my future. 
I hope ABC continuing to help um, help me like the past. I hope so. I hope so. Mr. Kim, now let me move over. You escaped from Viet Cong. As we know, first in Da Nang and second time from Saigon. Uh, really thanks for ABC uh, family help us to, to get out to uh, Saigon. At the, I was in last trip from Saigon to here. So far, Delinese and uh, Mark and everyone in Saigon try to help us at the last moment. Everybody feel very, very hurried because they think it's the last because we we was in uh, Friday. It's a one more day, it's a last flight. Uh, and uh, stop at uh, uh, evacuation from Vietnamese to warm. So they said, hurry, you are at last. So and uh, we later we all here and we meet all the person here from ABC and we are very, very happy. I see. You have your dope sheet ready for today's story? Do you think you'll be happy covering uh, fires and accidents and politics in, in another country, namely the United States? I look like uh, I am on adventures. I can go everywhere, I think, and <laughs> everyone to, uh, people tell me to go. I'm ready anytime. ABC News Saigon Bureau has just about reassembled here on Guam in one of these unexpected developments of the Vietnam experience. Let me talk to some of the people who have been our colleagues and co-workers and friends for most of the past decade in our bureau. And all in the last few days, uh, the whole world was upended. Mr. Lam, could you just recount, recall? Mm, I would say that uh, Mr. Nalini plays a big role on behalf of ABC News to help us out of South Vietnam. And uh, the plan worked so far perfectly. And we are very grateful to the United States and ABC in particular to have moved us out of Saigon. What was the plan? The plan is uh, to move gradually uh, families by families. So far, the first group include um, my family and Mr. Ming, Mr. Ding, uh, Miss Lai and Miss Thuan. As for me, I decide to stay behind to help out the second and the third group. And I should say that the plan works very well. How were the uh, how were the people assembled, uh, informed, prepared, and then physically? What did you do when you had to move out? Uh, because of uh, secrecy and to uh, avoid panic, therefore we work out a plan that uh, we only inform the people to be going out only a matter of one hour in advance. However, we had expected to move out at a moment notice, so we, are, we were all ready and we assembled what we uh, should take along and uh, as you know uh, there is an, a scarcity of uh, rooms in the airplane therefore we could only take 
a few of uh, our belongings just necessary for a temporary life and we have to leave behind uh, as you know house cars and in fact everything except uh, I, I believe that all my colleagues all they can take along is clothing and some uh, uh, precious things such as uh, a bit of jewelry and so on we could not bring along as you know uh, the, the fact that we were able to walk on the plane uh, is already a big thing so we did not ex expect to bring suitcase and everything so but so far we are glad of what we were able to take along well how do you feel now that uh, the life that you have led as a journalist in, in vietnam is totally changed how do you feel about what's happening personally i feel very very sad because every one of us we have families and friends who couldn't could not be moved out we are lucky just because of uh, we happen to work with abc and abc does it, it it's best to handle us out, out but you see now we move to a new place without uh, friends and uh, relatives uh, we are only the abc members so a completely new life and certainly we are very very sad however the fact we uh, our presence is here does matter most and you know for the time being we just try to forget the past and look ahead of you father through our lord jesus christ your son you. brethren may almighty god bless you the and the holy spirit Amen. our mass is ended now go forth in the name of our lord jesus christ our shepherd he will guide you and bless you thanks, thanks be to, to god, god. Chúng ta hát một kinh cuối cùng để cầu nguyện cho nước việt nam chúng ta hôm qua uh, sài gòn đã Sáng mai có lễ tắm rưỡi, ai muốn xem lễ tại chỗ này? Men sons.
car, some of Mr. Lam's children.